In a lot of my shoots recently, I've been lacking negative fill, which is basically black fabric that blocks out any reflection that's coming from the environment that you're shooting in, any light reflection. And the benefit of negative fill is that it creates contrast that is like naturally in the image. So boosting the contrast is one thing. When you build in contrast, it actually in your lighting, you're gonna get an overall more cinematic image. So I think the Relight tool in DaVinci can be super powerful. And I've seen a lot of people use it to add more light to their, to their work. But I think there's a way we can use it to take away light as well. So the way to use the Relight tool is a tad clunky, but overall it works. We've got our Film Unlimited look right over here. That's great, um, but we're gonna need to we're gonna need to detach this LUT here, and then add a serial before this one, and then run this right into there. Then we're gonna grab this and run it back in there as well. To this node, we will add the relight effect, and this is only available if you're using the Studio version of Resolve. So be warned. Um, but what this gives us, as you can see, is a directional point source or spotlight, and those change based on what you do here. Now, I think the directional is where we're gonna land. Um, you can turn off and on the Relight Map Preview, or you can shift H, well, kind of. But the thing is, right now, if we do this, it will affect the whole image, which a lot of times, will actually help. So I'm gonna pull the shadows down. What I wanted on the day was negative fill on this right side here. So if we pull the lift down here, then you start to see those shadows kind of come in. And if we toggle that off and on, you're gonna get those deeper shadows. And because we're using this directional source, we can really hone in like, okay, where is that negative fill? Now I will say, this has the, the possibility to be too much. And what I also don't like about it is that as you can see over here, it is affecting that side of the couch, which wouldn't be realistic to actual negative fill. So if we add a little deal here, a little mask, a little window, soften that up, and then we bring it over to this side, then suddenly we have the negative fill hitting our subject right here. We're deepening those shadows. This is what it looked like before. This is what it looks like after. There's so much more contrast in this image and, and we didn't use any negative fill in the first place. I think this is crazy. And because you're using that softened power window here, you're not getting, it's not affecting this, this other side of the image, which wouldn't be realistic. A couple of things you know using the Relight tool, you've got this brightness, which is basically just like an intensity. You've got contrast, which as you can see here, that's what it's doing. You have a glossiness, which I think that would come more in on um, if you're actually adding light, but you don't see the effect as much when you're not adding light. And then you have shadow softness. And I really like shadow softness because you can really hone in like how much, I guess, blur and softness there is um, with these shadows. So I'm just keeping it all stock though because I think I like how it looks. But I'm sure you're wondering why we have this little node here. Well, I'll show you. So if we go to this shot, we can see we have that node as well. And Steven kind of leans up and is talking to the camera. Again, lots of Joan footage, but all of these shots I'm running around with a camera and very little, if any, lighting. And so I'm not setting up, I'm not taking the time to set up negative fill. So let's add some in post. As you can see, what's happening is it's affecting this little section here behind Steven. So to remedy that, we're gonna add the depth map. Um, there's probably a ton of different ways you could do this. I imagine you could do a magic mask. Uh, I imagine you could do a couple different things, but we're gonna do this. So a heads up, uh, once you add the depth map, things may get a little slow in your computer. Um, at least that's what happens for me. So you can adjust this and really like find the mask that you're looking for. You're essentially creating a mask. Then when you drag the blue to the blue, then we've got, it's only affecting Steven's face. Now, as you might imagine, Steven does lean up in this shot. So this technique is probably best used if you're actually working um, with the stationary clip. If we wanted to optimize this clip here because he does lean up, we could totally add a little magic mask here. There's a downside of the old magic mask. 
It can be a little finicky. We're gonna tighten that radius and then we'll drag, yeah, we'll drag it up there. It's already connected. Boom, Shift H. Now our relay tool again is only going to affect him, but once we've tracked the magic mask, no way. Nine minutes. I'm not gonna track the nine minutes, but it will be a better result because that uh, negative fill that we added with the relay tool will basically track with him. So by no means do I think that this method is perfect. I think you should totally add, you know, negative fill in the first place, like while you're actually shooting. But I do think that this is a really helpful tool. And if you're like me and you kind of sometimes run into situations where you don't have time to set up negative fill, even maybe just by yourself, you can solve that issue here using the Relay tool as negative fill. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you wanna learn about DaVinci because I'm making as many helpful DaVinci videos as I can. I would love to make a video answering a question that you may have. But if you're trying to figure out how to get started in DaVinci, you can watch this video here. Or if you're not really into DaVinci, but you just wanna see a little breakdown of a shoot that I did, you can watch this video here. Thank you.